step forward? Anything in particular that clicked, especially for you? Well, um, I mean, really just gratitude and enjoying the moment. You know, being with my feet are honestly, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, I think I said in one of my past interviews, it's not really uh, focusing on the past or not really focusing on the future as much. Obviously, I know we have our own big goals. Obviously, I have my own personal goals, but it's just all about being where your feet are and, you know, stay locked in into the moment. I think the more you do that, the more you reap, uh, you know, good benefits. So it's, it's just all about that for me. I know you haven't been a wrestling backer for that long in the context of you playing football. Right. Anything in particular this year that you've really taken in about the position? Or the intricacies of it? Uh, I mean, the, the intricacies of it, I mean, definitely differ between, you know, the team that you play for, obviously. But uh, a couple of things that are the same, obviously, you got to play fast, uh, which that's got to be a constant. You got to, uh, you got to bridge your keys. And that's just something that's, uh, something that's, that's, you know, I guess put on us every day, uh, you know, to be consistent by Coach, Coach Man, obviously, Coach Man. Consistent in our keys, and uh, obviously, just you know, like I said, play fast, read your keys. I mean, just and cut it loose. I think you know, after all that, um, I think if you play on the other side of the line of scrimmage, you know, being in the opposing team's backfield, I think it's not, you know, it's not good things you weren't here last year, but you guys have taken a big step forward on third down defense. I'm just curious, what's standing out to you about what are the things you're doing really well consistently on those downs? Uh, focus and playing together. I think you know, playing together uh, really on all downs. I think. More than just third down. See, I think that most people think it's just third down. Like you gotta. Um, one of my older coaches used to say, you gotta earn the right to rush the passer. And obviously, and you talking, you may be talking about third and short and third and medium, but uh, we've gotten the teams to a lot of I think third and longs, uh, third and medium, which that's more of a pass down. Um, you gotta earn that right in the first couple downs. Which obviously, you gotta defend the run well. You gotta be locked into your keys. You gotta play fast. So. Um, I think we, it's just a combination of a lot of those things uh, done by everybody instead of just one or two people. Then Coach Grinch said the focus this week was reducing explosive plays. Just what's gone into that this week and, and how's it looked out there? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, um, I mean, our focus is definitely on just taking it play by play um, and mitigating any explosive plays as we are in that particular play. But, I mean, yeah, that's def like I said, focus, uh, locked in on our keys. And I think the more we just con continue to just take it play by play, um, just keep our focus, uh, you know, sharp, um, you know, position group by position group, and then bring it all together. I think uh, that's the best, you know, best thing for us. I mean, you're a quarterback for so long. Do you ever find yourself still, like, watching quarterbacks? Like, uh, NFL, you watch an NFL, you, like, are studying those guys, or is that kind of behind them? That's kind of behind me. Um, as far as watching, like, I mean, obviously I admire quarterbacks. Like, uh, you know, I, uh, I hated that happened to Aaron Rodgers. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as far as studying them, no, I have no reason to study them now. If they're on the same field as me, then I love watching them. I love, I love you know, hitting them and, you know, obviously bothering them and, and making the game tough for them, you know, obviously along with my great teammates. So, um, but, yeah, that's that's definitely behind me. I'm, I'm excited, man, for the future, but I'm definitely excited for where I am right now. Do you find yourself kind of watching film through that lens when you're studying, like, an opposing offense, like Stanford's offense? Are you, like, sort of thinking about what the quarterback is thinking about? Um, I mean, I can't I, I would be lying if I, if I said, you know, it didn't creep up in my mind here and there. But obviously when I'm preparing for the game on a consistent basis and when it comes to just my mental, uh, you know, mental agility and, and just, you know, being uh, having that muscle memory for the game. I try not to go there just because um, the minute I do that in the game, you know, I go from playing fast and then trying to think too much. And I did that a couple of times the other night. I mean, I was you know, playing not as fast as I could have on uh, a few snaps. So, yeah, I definitely want to get away from that as much as possible. Yeah, you almost have to tamp down your, like, old quarterback. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. You gotta, it's almost like, you know, quarterback, it's, it's funny you say that because quarterback, you know, you have, you can't have ton of vision. It's like playing edge, you have to have ton of vision sometimes. Like if I'm reading my, my sorry, if I'm reading my tackle, I gotta read him. I can't be looking at everything else. So, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's definitely funny how things work out. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you.